Alright, hello everyone. Today I'm going to be showing you uh, how to uh, move an animated GIF. Because uh, in GIMP it's, it's, a, it's a little weird, but it's not, it's not too weird. Uh, uh, and what we're going to, the final thing is going to look like this. It's just simple. So I'm just gonna show you how to put an animated GIF uh, into into another uh, JPEG or or PNG picture or whatever, uh, like this TV. Um, you could uh, search Google or whatever images and and find the TV you want, or you could put it in anything you want. It's uh, the same concept on anything you're doing when you're uh, resizing an animated GIF and uh, and moving it. Um, okay, let's get started. what you want to do is you want to go up in your file you want to open up your pictures which this one I'm going to open up the TV first in there oh and we're also going to be uh, I'm going to show you how to put guidelines in there and and, uh, and all that to make the uh, that way we can get the GIF uh, uh, lined up right You just go over here to the side right here where this little ruler is and click right click and drag and then uh, you want to put it in and then you zoom in zoom in right here or you could use your scroll wheel and you, just, you can move over like that and then you want to uh, make sure you go up here and you want to click your move tool. Then you want to go over here. And normally to be right here, move active layer. You want to go up here and you want to pick a layer or a guide. Choose that. And then now you can grab your you can grab your guide. And uh, I got I got my GIMP set up to where you I could zoom in and out with my mouse wheel. I can do a tutorial on that and show you how to do that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and make this full screen. And I also got it where I can pan with my mouse. I will show how to do that if. if uh, but, uh, but normally you could zoom in, zoom out, and you can pan and move and all that kind of good stuff uh, with this. Uh, if you want to pan, if you don't know how to set up your mouse wheel. All you got to do is come right here to this little arrow, and you can move the picture to wherever you want to move it, if you don't have your mouse set up like I do. But we're going to move it over here, and I'm going to zoom in a little bit more, and I am going to grab my guide, and I am going to put it over here at the end of the gray. Well, actually, let's move it back over to where it's black right here. And then I'm going to zoom out again. I'm going to go back over here, and I'm going to grab another guide. And I'm going to drop the guide on this side. And then we can zoom back in over here. Then, like I said, we can pan over here so we can see the guide line. guide to right there zoom back out let's look and see how that looks uh, I need to move it in a little bit closer I'm gonna zoom back in all the way and pan back over move it to right there zoom back out and then now you go up here to this top ruler you grab a guide up here, and you drop it down, and then you zoom, zoom in, pan down to it, where you can see. And I think that looks pretty good right there. Now I'm gonna go up here and grab this, and grab another guide for the top. I'm 
and set it about right there. Let's zoom in and let's pan the top and let's see how that goes. That looks pretty good. Okay, now I'm going to zoom all the way back out. And I am. we're going to go up here and we're going to bring the GIF in now. We're going to go back up to File, Open as Layers, and then you want to go and Navigate. You want to go and navigate to wherever you put your your GIF and all that. And my grab, and then grab your GIF that you're going to use. Press open. Uh, and then uh, you could use that. You can find everything up here if if you need your tools, uh, your selection tools, all that. That's all this stuff that's on this side. You go to layer. And then you could go right here to delete the layer, or you could come back over here and you could right click and move back down, and then go to delete layer because I don't I don't need that and I don't want that in in here. Okay, now what we're gonna do? See now if I try to move this, now you remember to set your your uh, your move tool back to move. The active layer because if you don't do that and you click over here whatever it's going to just move everything now see now I'm gonna go and try to move this GIF and see I can move that but it's not moving the whole thing it's just you know what I mean it's moving the GIS are all in layers so what we need to do is we need to link the GIS together that way we can move the whole thing in one shot and you just go up here go to edit undo move layer now it's back in its place Okay. Now you could go right here and you could click every one of these if you want. And sometimes that's that's a big pain because that takes forever. What we're going to do is we're going to hold down the shift on your keyboard, hold down shift and click. And that will link every single one on here. And then that way you know, because like I said, GIF a lot of time has a lot of layers, and it's just a pain to go and click every single one of them. So I got them all all linked. Now you don't want to move the background layer and stuff, so we just go back and we'll unlink the background layer. And then now, if we go and try to move the layer, see it all moves. We can move the whole thing around in the picture. Okay, now. Now we got it linked, okay? Now if you want to resize a GIF, you have to make sure you have them all linked or whatever cuz like I said, you know, if they're not linked and, and you got one missing or whatever, it's going to the the animation is going to be messed up. Oh, and also, we don't need uh we don't need that, but I'm going to go ahead and make a new layer. Go okay. And then we're going to come down here and uh I'm sorry. I'm getting I'm getting all mixed up here. I'm sorry. We go forget about that new layer. Go ahead and delete that and then we'll go right here and we're going to turn this layer off. These eyes turn the layers off and on. We're going to turn this layer off and see the reason why I use the guides. You see now it's off or whatever, but we know what size we need to make the the animated GIF to fit in there to fit in the TV screen. So what we need to do, we need to come over here to our toolbox, and there's this tool right here, it's the scale tool. We want to click on that, and then we want to come back over here to our animated GIF, and we want to click on it. Oops, sorry. And you want to make sure you're on the right layer. Make sure that you're on the right layer. The, the, uh, background layer of the GIF. Make sure you're always on the start of that layer. Sorry about that. And uh, Now we want to click on it. Now we could go ahead and resize the GIF to go up here to the, to the layer guides. There's an easier way to do this but I'm just going to show you this, this way for now. Try to line them up the best you can. And then, like I said, we could go, we could go in here, and we could zoom in. And 
just move it down to the guideline and then pan down a little bit zoom in a little bit okay then you know you can be more precise over here oops okay zoom back down and we'll pan up and we'll check this one out you need to be dropped down a little bit. Just a little bit. Just click right here and move middle and you can move the whole line. over here and see what it looks like over here we need to move this side to the guideline and then we need to pan back over here and check this guideline make sure it's not too far away from guide pan up Just need a little bit. Scroll back down. Lower that just a tad. Just a tad more. I said there is a little bit easier way to do this but I don't want to get everybody confused right now okay and then you just want to zoom back out yep I knew it move a little bit too much there we go and then we zoom back out and right here and we want to press scale and that's going to go ahead and scale the whole GIF. That way we don't have to do nothing to it. And then we could go back over here. And we could turn the TV back on. Or the TV layer back on. And it's, and it's in there. Fits perfectly. Fits perfectly. And sorry if... Uh, I'm not pronouncing stuff and all that right. I, you know, I'm not no computer genius but uh now what we want to do is we want to go like I said you go over here to layer and you can merge it down we want to merge this layer down into the TV layer or we could go back to this one and click right click on it again and press merge down and that's that's pretty much it and then you can go back if you want and move the guides off of it and stuff but we don't have to. Now to check your animation, you go to filters, animation, playback, and this is what, what, what we just made. This is what it looks like. Pretty cool. I think it looks pretty, pretty good. You ask me. Then all you want to do is you just want to go up here. You want to go file, export, name your file, whatever you want to name it. And then on this side, though, we don't want to save it as a JPEG. Make sure everything animated we want to save as a GIF type in GIF so Dean in the TV dot GIF and then you know nav navigate over here wherever you want it to, to be saved at 
then you hit export and then this this little window will come come up now you want to make sure as animation is clicked now if you want to change how fast it goes and this changes the whole speed of the whole GIF and uh, but we don't want to change nothing you just go add as animation if you want the animation to only go th go through the uh, all the layers once and then stop at the original one you will want to uncheck loop forever but I want mine to loop forever so you want to make sure loop forever is checked and then you just hit export and we could go and we could check out what we just made and there we go and that's what it looks like you could put it on whatever whatever you want to put it on you put it on uh, the web page uh, anything anything you want to put it on you can put it on so I, I hope you guys uh, learned a lot I hope this helped some people if you have any questions leave leave some comments below um, I would be happy to answer them um, thank you and there will be more tutorials coming